All right, uh, Joel Cangelosa here at Full Blown Paint. I'm in the paint booth. Uh, got us a 24 by 36 canvas here. And um, what we're gonna be doing is um, we're gonna end up painting this guy on there. I uh, found this image on the internet. Um, I don't know who's, who it belongs to, but it's uh, the Skull Shifter from Mad Max. So uh, I really like, can I hold it a little bit closer? I really like the different shadings in it and how it's got a metallic look. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get that painted up on this canvas here. Uh, I have a Stabilo pencil. I, um, it's a <clears throat> aquarium. Basically it's a pencil that you could draw on anything and then when I'm done I could just use a damp rag and wipe off the rest of the, the sketching on it. So uh, without that, Without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get the sketched up on here and uh, and then go ahead and start painting it. And also, I'm gonna be using one-shot paints exclusively on this. I'm not using any urethanes or any uh, transparent colors. So I'm gonna <clears throat> go ahead and pull this thing off with uh, using some silvers, blacks, and whites, and a couple other little colors. Um, another thing, we're gonna talk about the canvas real quick. This is a canvas I bought from Hobby Lobby and it's been primed black already, so. It's um, it's not a real deep black, which is which is really nice. It's almost like a real dark gray. So I'll be able to come in with some black around this too, and push some areas back to get this background right. So without any further ado, let's go. Okay, I've got some uh, one shot silver and some black and some white. Uh, three separate Dixie cups. Uh, what I'm going to do is start off with the silver. Uh, I've got it reduced down with mineral spirits. I'll start laying in some of the color in here. You can see I've got the sketch laid out. Uh, you can see a bunch of different lines all over the place. And that's all right. We're just trying to get the shape right now. So now that we have our shape here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start laying in the silver. Um, then we'll push things back, pull things forward, and you'll see how it turns out. All right, at this point, uh, I've got the silver laid out. Uh, I'm gonna take the same silver, I'm gonna put it black in it, about 50%, and uh, I'm gonna start catching some of these dark areas, and then I'll, I'll you see, I'll kind of jump into darker, even darker stuff, and then even lighter stuff, because uh, we're gonna be pushing and pulling different parts of this thing. So this is my basic um, mid-tone right here. All right, you can see I'm laying in the darker colors here uh, to the right. You can see I have it laid in that socket there, and the one to the left I've laid some in there. Still got a little bit more on that, but you can see how these dark tones are pushing stuff back. Okay, at this point, um, We've got most of the dark areas in. Everything's looking pretty good. There are a couple colors I'm gonna put in here, a little bit of orange and a little bit of blue-green. Um, 
not really many areas just a couple then I'll come back with some highlights and uh, I'll kind of get everything wrapped up you can see this is the picture here just a little bit of oranges in here some of the blue greens a couple little splotches here some of the oranges up in this area uh, same thing here so um, again these are the, the colors that I've used I've got the silver one shot this is some white with a little, a couple little drops of silver in it. Uh, this is black here. Black with a couple of drops of silver, the orange, and then the blue green. finished piece talk about it just for a minute I uh, went back in uh, like I said I added the silver back over the white I ended up adding more oranges up in here and a little bit more blues in this area just uh, really play that up a little bit more more than what's in the picture uh, just really really uh, give it a little diversity and, and and the two sides, you know. I uh, didn't want to put too much blue and make it look like a, a uh, cheap rendition. So, um, again, here you can see the final picture. I'm uh, zooming in on a couple spots of it. You can see the background, the mouth, and the picture. They had a couple of weird shapes. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good one.